Hello everyone and welcome to Prim. So full disclosure, the publisher of this reached out to me and offered this game and of course I looked into it and just based on the story alone I was immediately intrigued, something that I've never seen before so of course I accepted the offer. Uh, but this game right here has a little bit of a dark underlying story to it. It is about Prim, whose mother has recently passed away, and she has to go live with her father, who is deaf. Yes, very intriguing. And this game is in black and white, so I think that that aspect is going to be really fun. And it came out October the 24th, so it is available now. And I think it's in the perfect time for spooky season. <laughs> All right, well, let us get into this. I am very excited. Oh, is this me? What am I doing? Oh, cut life thread. <gasps> Hold on a second. Yes, mortal, I'm talking to you. Are you really sure you know what you're doing there? No. Cutting a person's <laughs> life thread results in death. Well, that's irreversible. Clotho, say something. Lachesis, don't interfere with the human's decision, sister. As goddesses of fate, we are supposed to remain neutral observers. Am I right, Atropos? Atropos reminded her sisters that they were arguing to no avail. The mortal's choice had been predetermined long ago. Oh, Atropos, can't you speak like a normal person for once? Atropos found her speech quite normal and declined to dignify the remark with a response. So, human, what will it be? Well, I don't think I have a choice. The human turned to Atropos, hoping for a solution to the dilemma, but no answer was forthcoming. Remember, Sunshine, you don't have to do this! What are you waiting for, mortal? Make your choice. Well, I, I mean, I, I don't... I don't want to. I think we're gonna have to. I don't like this part of the story. Me neither, to be honest. And yet it had to be told. What? Wait, I remember this place. We were here together many times. Right. What did you call it again? The world in between. We thought it a fitting locale for our encounters. I mean, a mortal woman and death. Encounters. Ah, charming as always, Thanatos. These shadows on the wall. Are they the souls you couldn't... Yes. They are trapped here forever. Reminding me of my mistake. You have to forgive yourself, Thanatos. I would much prefer to leave the past in the past. You won't ever change, will you? Death is as unchangeable as it is inevitable. Now show yourself already. Ugh, there's no reason to put on an act with me. Hello, Morwen. Oh, okay. Oh! This is telling their love story. You look... Dead? I am afraid so. What about Prim? Is she... The child is alright. There is no need to worry. No, she's not. She needs someone by her side. Especially now. Remember what the goddesses of fate said when she was born? A power over life and death would awaken in her, as soon as... As soon as she turned 16, I know. Forgetting things is not in my nature. Listen to me. Up until now, it wasn't a problem for you to keep to yourself and do your thing. 
We got along just fine without you. But now, now things have changed. She needs help. Well, I have heard the orphanages these days are not as bad as people make them out to be. <laughs> exactly. Is this all a cosmic <laughs> joke to you? She's your daughter, too. How am I supposed to take care of a child? You know who I am. I know you have your responsibilities, but your daughter is one of them now. She needs I am with you. the mother. Like, I how dare you put her in an orphanage? So you'll have to find a way to make it work. Promise me you'll take care of her. I... Promise me. So be it. I promise. Good. You be nice to her, you hear? Fine. I will try. Then I think I'm ready for whatever comes next. Goodbye, Morwen. Safe travels. Do you think he's had other children? Is this like a Percy Jackson kind of thing? <laughs> I will need to make preparations before transporting the child to my realm. Death has a daughter. This is ridiculous. <laughs> it kind of seems like he doesn't. Oh my goodness. Well, it's already intriguing here. He took her to the in-between to have their encounters. Oh boy. In the land of the living, Prim didn't have the slightest idea that Thanatos, the god of death, was already on his way to her. The girl's mind was engulfed in a haze of grief for her beloved mother, Morwen, had passed away in a terrible accident only weeks before. Morning makes mortals do strange things. In Prim's case, she did what any 15-year-old would do. Go, Go somewhere, somewhere forbidden. forbidden. Mm. So she's 15, so that means like the, the thing about her turning 16 is going to be coming to pass very soon. This is it. Mom's secret hideaway. She never let me up here. Prim, are you sure this is a good idea? It's really dark up there. Don't chicken Who's that? out, Tris. Can't we at least wait for better weather? But this storm is making everything twice as creepy. Oh, come on, scaredy pants. You promise don't bail out now. Do I really have to? Tristan, please. This is important to me. Going through mom's things? might help me feel close to her even if it's just for a moment oh fine but but i'm staying on the ladder oh his little glasses what are broke is all this i have no idea but we're here to find out all right well i can definitely walk around i never knew mom was into music it probably wasn't hers. A bag of mole food? That's strange. That is a little strange, unless it's like, you know, <laughs> to kill the moles. Ugh, I really hope mom didn't put that thing in my crib. Although that could explain the nightmares. Mm, I hope the chicken this monstrosity came from is just as big. Otherwise, ouch. <laughs> Also, our little, um, the women that's been talking to us, aren't those, like, the weavers of, of fate or something? I think that's from Greek mythology, if I'm not mistaken. I've seen them in, in some TV shows and stuff where they've been, you know, portrayed. I think they're, like, the weavers. Hmm. Which that's, you know, what talks is. about the cutting of the Mom lifelines and stuff. didn't take pictures of houses. She was more of a portrait photographer. That's why she had the camera with her. Okay. What else we got? Tris, behind you, a, a three-headed dog. A what? Don't worry. It already ate a little kid today. Huh. Huh. <laughs> okay, is it fluffy? Is it fluffy? If you know, you know. Why don't you come up here and help me? No, thank you. Really? What is it this time? Your fear of the dark or your fear of enclosed spaces? Both. Both. <laughs> and don't forget the spiders. Is this, is Tristan me? Hmm. Strange. The floor makes a 
difference. I didn't even here. notice that. The floor at our house does that all the time. And you should really get that fixed. It drives me up a wall. Madame can move to a hotel anytime she pleases. Ha ha. You do know I'm thankful you and your family took me in. I mean it. Even with my dad doing his weird magic tricks all the time? It's so embarrassing. <laughs> a price I'm willing to pay to avoid homelessness. And to live with your best friend. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that too. Hey, I mean, at least you know your dad. Mom never told me anything about mine. So, what's this under my feet? I don't know, but it definitely looks different from the rest of the floor. Ooh. Jackpot. A box. And oh, a present. It must be for my birthday. But, but isn't your birthday next week? In three days and two hours, to be precise. Mom planned ahead. Oh. It's like these things were waiting here for me. Okay. Hold on. I want to check over here first. This part of the attic is so dark. I won't be able to find anything without some light. And okay. we all know the coolest things are hidden in the darkest places. That's right. But we don't have anything to... For a light. Okay. Well, let's look in here. What do we got? Ooh, okay. Oh, how cool. We have a diary? Okay, it says, Hi, Mom. I know Mom will never read these lines, and yet, I know it sounds stupid, but writing these diary entries almost feels like talking to her. In a way. Okay. And it says, I know you never wanted me to rummage through your things in the attic, but I wanted to feel close to you. Please forgive me, I miss you. Okay, and this is our to-do list. Find something interesting in Mom's old stuff. Okay. Now we have this. Oh, we Mom's ripped it camera. open. It meant the world to her. And she wanted me to have it. <gasps> Wait, will the camera work as like a flash thing? Let's see if we can shed some light on the matter. Oh, it looks yeah. like the batteries are dead. I should ask Tristan if he can get me some. That's right, Tristan. Will you get us some batteries for the camera? Tristan, can you get me some batteries for the camera? They're in the living room. Uh, sure. But be careful. You know me. I'm graceful as a... Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm okay. <sighs> He'll never learn. <laughs> I mean, at least he tried. Here's the batteries. <laughs> That's what it reminded me of. <laughs> Thanks. Man, I wish I had somebody to bring me batteries and a cookie. That should do the trick. All right, cool. Well, let's go back over here. Should I pick up this box? I guess I should. Hmm, what a strange box. It's surprisingly heavy for its size. Mm. Mm, I can't lift it. <sighs> but I can try to open it. No. It's locked, but there's no keyhole. Only a skull-shaped notch. There must okay. be a way to get it open. I'm sure mom hid something around here. So that's what the little, what I'm guessing this little necklace is over here. Okay, cool. All right, well, let's take our camera. Let's try it again. Beautiful. I should have a look at the photo. Maybe I can spot something interesting. Okay, photo. What, how do I? Oh, there we go. That's what it looks like over there. More boxes. Wow. And a locket of some sort. Right? But wait. What's that shiny thing? Hmm. Something must have reflected the flash. I'm sure I can find it in the dark now. Okay. A necklace. 
Hmm. Must have been mom's. I didn't know her taste was so morbid. Okay, so now we can use the necklace on that. The tiny skull fits right into this little notch. Let's see what's in here. What? What was that? Spooky. Okay, things are getting way too strange up here. Prim, can we go now? Please? You know what? You go ahead. I need a few minutes alone anyway. Are you sure? Yep, but leave me some cookies. You better make it quick. They say time heals all wounds. Yet grief is not so simple. The pain lingers. A persistent ache that refuses to fade away. But it transforms. Shifts shape becomes a more tolerable burden. The comfort of a friend, a soft bed, or a plate of cookies can make all the difference in the world. Because let's face it, cookies make everything better. It's full of instant photos. What a surprise. Mom took her camera with her everywhere. And guess who was her favorite subject? Prim. Oh, Aww. here she is. My mom, Morwen. Oh, beautiful, wasn't she? Oh, that was after Tristan's weird obsession with becoming a rope dancer. Didn't end too well for him, to no one's surprise. He really is one big doofus. But he's my doofus. <laughs> what the heck? Who is this? Okay... Oh, what's oh. that shining behind those boxes? I don't, I don't know. What's that strange light? Do we need to take the camera? I don't want to take a photo. No. Of this. Okay. Do we just need to walk over there then? Mom's bull. What is what's it? What's that strange light? I don't know. I'll move these out of the way. A portal. Nobody's gonna believe this. Curious, but not without fear, Prim approached the circle of light that had manifested right in front of her. Before she could reach it, there he was. Out of the portal stepped a hooded skeleton with eyes as black as the darkest night. And in a voice that sounded more in Prim's head than in her ears, the monster spoke to her. I am dead, your father. And from now on, you are my ward. Humans have absolutely no idea what to do when they encounter the Grim Reaper. So, after carefully weighing up all their options, most of them pick the obvious thing and just drop dead. Oh, that's the most obvious. In just, Prim's just case, drop dead. <laughs> Thanatos had made sure that wouldn't happen. Thus, when she met him, she only died a little bit. Oh. And she changed. Oh. Just enough so that he could take her to his realm. So she's partially dead. And as she was carried into the portal by her long absent father, Prim left behind a whole life, a faithful friend, and a broken camera. Prim? Prim? No matter how often or how loudly Tristan called her name, Prim was nowhere to be found. Oh, poor dear. Little did Prim know, she had been transported to a place where mortals can only go once their life has come to an end. The realm of the dead. The dead. So that's why we are partially dead. Alright, part one, a touch too much.
The Realm of the Dead, three days and two hours later. <sighs> well, happy birthday to me, I guess. Can I come in? As if you wouldn't if I said no. Is it a bad time? Oh, okay. Um... Didn't really, well, I mean, I guess he really did kidnap her. He didn't explain anything beforehand, so. Since you kidnapped me, it's always a bad time. We have already discussed this countless times. Yes, but you never listen. I, I know today is a special day for you. I assume you and your mother celebrated your. What do you care? You killed her. I did not kill anyone, Prim. People manage that all on their own. I just hope their souls pass into the afterlife. Then why can't I go see her? We've already talked about this. Your mother has moved on, across the river, to Elysium. That is where my sphere of influence ends, and yours too. She is beyond our reach. So, <clears throat> I, um, I wanted you to have this. It's not wrapped like you might be used to, but it has been passed on in our family from generation to... What am I supposed to do with a stupid pocket knife? Well, for one, it's not a knife, it's a scythe. <sighs> Whatever. You're gone all day just to finally show up with a gift that's as useless as all the other trash you expect me to waste my time with. I understand you are not in the mood for talking right now. I will return later. I'm late for work anyway. Wait. Yes. Um, okay, let's 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 do a thing that she would say. Uh da 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 da. da. Maybe this. <sighs> There's nothing to do here. Do you expect me to sit around all day? I knew I would not be able to spend much time with you. So, in anticipation of your arrival, I have gathered a wide array of playthings, reading material, and educational items for you. It is more than any child could want. Um, but I'm not a child. Can't you get that into your big, dumb, dead, hollow head? What would I do with a rocking horse? It is a toy with an interesting history. The earliest examples can be traced back to the Middle Ages. The functionality is both simple and timeless. You climb into the saddle, and by shifting your weight back and forth, you... It's useless. Talking to you is useless, Thanatos. All right. You've been absent all my life. How do you have the right to decide for me now? I had to go away to fulfill my duty here. Your mother understood this. Don't act like you knew her. But I did. After we ended our liaison... Liaison? Oh, God, spare me the details. That's an image I don't want. We agreed that you would remain with her in the land of the living, and I would return to my obligations. But now she is gone, and here we are. Yeah, here we are. I don't belong here. All souls belong here, eventually. It is the natural order of things. Oh, taking a girl hostage. Very natural. You are not a hostage. I am your father. Now that your mother can no longer care for you, the duty has fallen to me, and I can only do it in my realm. I must not neglect my work. But I... Enough. My decision is final. I had a life. And you stole it from me. I had a friend. There are plenty of beings in my realm. I will allow you to meet them so you can make new friends. But only once you stop your fruitless attempts to escape, of course. You can wait for that till you drop dead. She's very, very spicy. I like her. Can't I at least visit Tristan? You absolutely cannot. It's too dangerous. Dangerous? Uh, I can look after myself. That is not what I mean. So what? 
do you mean? You... You might have changed. Oh, you mean so does that mean that she can't oh, go back to the bad, living? Actually, no, that is not it. Have you noticed any other changes in your body lately? Ah, oh, Thanatos, gross. I assume that is a no. That is a mind your own damn business. Everything you say just sounds like a feeble excuse to me. You abandoned us. My whole life, I didn't have a father. And sometimes that sucked pretty hard. But all in all, I was okay. I had mom. Do you know what's even worse than not having a father? Finding out you do have one and he's a huge disappointment. And you can bet your oversized gothic bathrobe, I'm gonna find a way to get back with or without your help. You will address me <laughs> with respect. No. If I had spoken to my father like this, he would have... Oh, was your daddy mean to you? Is that how you got this way? Enough! I tried my best to be nice to her, Baldwin, just as I promised. But now see where it has gotten us. I knew it. The very idea of death having a child is absurd. I have more important things to do. I think it is best you stay safe in your room. You will not leave until I allow it. Fine. Fine. Uh, we'll just do nothing. Oh my goodness. Huh? He really did lock the door from the outside. Oh, I have to find a way to get back home. But first, I need to get out of this room. Oh. Um, what was that? Yeah, what was that? Okay, hold on. Let's see. We have our diary. Get out of my room. Okay, so that's why you never told me who my father is. Guess what? He kidnapped me and brought me to the realm of the dead, but you can bet I'm not going to stay here for long. I miss you. I mean, given the fact that she's about to be 16, I mean, I feel like they should have given her a choice. But, you know. All right, let's go look at this present. How did this get here? Somebody stuck. Ew! Somebody what stuck their arm through there. <laughs> Shy little fellow. Eh, just wait. I'm gonna get you. Oh no! It's too much like a spider. Your parents must have crossed a few biological and ethical <laughs> lines. I can't reach it from here. Oh, that's funny. Okay, so we have a candy jar. We might be able to do something with that. This might be the only nice thing in here. Thanatos says the glowing thingies are called hot spots. Whatever that means. Hot spots? There's okay. some sticky, sweet-smelling goo at the bottom. It was probably used to attract the fireflies. Oh, I get you. I have no idea what to look up. Herbology. Okay, so that's about some herbs. No, I really can't move it. Thanatos would literally kill me if I scratched the floor. I mean, it's what he does all day long, so it's not like it would take much to drive him to do it. <laughs> okay. All right, we got a bookshelf. What else we got around here? Armchair Paley? Is that what this is called? What was Thanatos thinking? I'm much too old for rocking horses. And I don't fit into the saddle. Not that yeah. I tried. Not that I tried. Mm-hmm, sure. Ectoplasm. Oh my goodness. Okay, so can we try this canning jar on this? Not a good idea. Okay. It does have like a little... They do look like they have little creatures in there. Hmm. <sighs> Seems Thanatos brought a souvenir from one of his last reapings. I can't believe I'm doing this. Oh. Very oily. Okay. My only way out. Thanatos locked it from the outside. I see you. Making a little web. Your parents must have crossed. <laughs> I can't. Okay. Let's see what else we um, have. Poster. Samael the Red. Oh, I think he's famous.
eyes for something they call casket ball down here. Casket ball? Demons in shorts. <laughs> That's cute. You know, sitting for this portrait was one of the maybe five times I've seen Thanatos since I got here. Ugh, I hate it. Well, who's the Every woman? Minute of it. The only good thing was that Thanatos' sister Kiri's was there too. Oh. Talking with her has been my one silver lining. She's giving me the mother from Coraline, the bad mom. She's giving me those kind of vibes. What now? Can I grab it? I still can't reach it. No? Really? Okay. We have a ladder. Oh! It yelled! It squeaked! You cute. It won't move. Looks like the <laughs> wheels are rusty. You gave me a rusty ladder? Other girls have walk-in closets. I've got a two-story walk-on bookshelf. Hooray. Actually, I would enjoy that. I wanted to throw it over myself and pretend I was a ghost, but Thanatos said that would be cultural appropriation. Oh my god, that is too funny. There's no use trying to climb out the window. Thanatos made sure to put my room over a bottomless pit so I couldn't sneak out without him knowing. That guy really knows how to make a place feel homey. Uh-huh. Okay, so tell me, can we take this? She said it was oily, right? And apply it to the ladder because it has rusty wheels. Follow me on that. Mm, that should do the trick. Okay. Okay, let's give this another try. Beautiful. Well, that ectoplasm makes for one hell of a lubricant. All right, well, let's climb up here. What do we got? Anything of interest? I still can't reach it. So we can't reach Mr. Spidey Spidey. So what can I use for you? I do have a Swiss pocket thing, okay. And then this little canning jar. My palms are too sweaty. Wait, what? Hmm. I'd love to free the glowing thingies but I can't get the lid off. Oh. My palms are too sweaty. Can I use this on this? Good idea, but I'm afraid I'll fall off the shelf if I try it. Oh. So I need to do it down here. Huh. It worked. Fly, little hot spots. Your time in captivity is over. want to stay with me, their savior, so we can go on adventures together. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Wait. Oh, so maybe this is like a... I don't know. What is this? Is it like, um... But like wait. what to look at? I think one of them flew into my diary. <gasps> Okay, this is interesting. Wait, it did? Where at? I don't see where it did. Okay, interesting. So maybe this is just like things that we can actually interact with? That's kind of neat. Thanatos says it's a family heirloom. I say it's a back scratcher. I don't know how I would feel about using a At skeleton hand study. as a back scratcher. Okay, so we've got, definitely got some items. Can we... Let's climb up here. Is there a way we can do this? This might work. Oh, but it's too high for me to reach it. Okay, so too high. Oh, our diary thing was updated. 
How do I cut the cobweb thread? Can I attach the arm? Hey, the <laughs> arm serves as an extension for the side. Now I only need something to use my new invention with. Oh, we do. Oh. Oh. How do I distract the spider eye so that I can cut the cobweb thread? Let's see what we got. We've got the jar. Mm, it's gotta be something with the ladder, right? It's got to be. It doesn't seem to be interested in the sticky goo. No. Is there a way? Is there anything with this crack? A pretty weird idea, if you ask me. It ain't weird. I was thinking maybe like we would collect something out of there, but okay. All right. So what else we got? We've got the lid. The skelly arm. And we can't reach it from here either, right? I can't reach it from here. Okay. Well, other girls have walk it hooray. Other girls hooray. Trying to think of what I else we have. Oh, wait, what's that? Thanato says that contrary to popular belief, Vampire X is the only thing that can keep vampires away, whereas garlic only drives away your loved ones. Oh. The tag says, warning, may irritate eyes. Oh, really? It may, okay. All right, well, let's climb up here again. I need you to come down, my little friend. I hope this doesn't hurt too bad. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> the yes! sound it made. Oh. Just my Wait, luck. what if it goes through the crack? Broke. I'll get rid of it. What if it goes through there? Hey, stay there! And it's gone again. Just great. Well, we're gonna have to trap it somehow. How do I catch the spider eye in the shelf? Good question. I mean, we do have the jar, but I don't- I think if we just walk up to it, I think it's gonna be scared. Not a bad idea, but it flees as soon as I get near it with the jar. Maybe I can set a trap? Maybe? But where would we set the trap at? Can we do this? I don't want to fill the empty bottle with- Oh, that. it's empty! Oh. It's empty now. Okay. What else we got? We got the door. Can we shut the window? That way it doesn't go outside. Okay. Cool. I feel like... Let's just see what happens if we go up here. Okay, I mean, it's not really moving any. Mm. Not a bad idea. Okay. Oh, is there- I wanted to throw it over myself. No, okay. I was thinking we could use the blanket somehow, I don't do that. but I don't think we can. I guess lids in the realm of the dead are just as boring as the ones on Earth. <laughs> I guess so. All right, so how are we going to set this trap? Can we move the table? I have no idea. No, I really can't move it. Okay, so Thanatos is going to kill us. All right. We have this crack still. That's pretty weird. It's open now. Oh, there's some sticky, sweet-smelling goo on the bottom. So how are we going to set a trap? I don't want to fill the empty bottle with that. But what would we fill it with, is my question. 
mean, there's really nothing around here it's to now. fill. Okay, let's look at these hot spots here. We've got the window. Oh, wait. Mm. I didn't see that before. Oh. Maybe if I place this in here. Yeah, because I did not see that area before. Okay. So maybe we have to scare it up there. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we did it. Let's put the lid back. Okay. Yes, gotcha. I won. <laughs> oh, don't cry. How about this? If I let you out of that jar, will you be a good demon creature and stay in my pocket? Okay, I trust you. Don't make me regret it. But you need a name. Hmm. I think I will call you... Oh. Oh my god, these names. Isaac Van Spineweb? Oh no, no, no. Retina? Goggle? I kind of like Goggle. Retina? I can't do Retina. That's just too... No. Isaac Van... <laughs> We're gonna do Goggle. Goggle. He seems to like it. I like it. That's cute. Okay, so do we let him out? Oh yeah, he's just chilling. Oh, he's cute. I like him. Okay, so can we use him to maybe go through this crack in the wall? Somehow open the door? Also, we should check this. How do I get to the room next door? Can we use you? Okay, Goggle, I have a mission for you. Can you squeeze through the crack and bring me the key to my door? Oh, good. You're so cute. Good luck. Oh, I love him. I should keep an eye on this eye. <laughs> I cannot work. <gasps> is that like a little elf? A single thought. Thing? Thank Hades, there is no way a soothing pipe and a relaxing tune cannot cure. But he's got the keys on him. The keys are hanging from Thanatos' belt. Oh, so I have. Oh, oh. Hey, <laughs> creature, you aren't very good at reading, are you? He says, "No, no, I'm not." Okay, so let's look around. Oh, this isn't a gargoyle. Here, I thought it was an elf. Okay, we have a door up here. Strange herbs. Okay. <laughs> Gotta distract him somehow, right? What is that? An, like a fly? A fly head? Hey, where are you going? Don't forget to bring me the keys. Don't leave me hanging. I'm not. I'm just checking around. Just checking. Okay, I really don't see anything up here, but this could be a way maybe to not be seen. Okay, what if I do this? <laughs> well, aren't you mean? Okay, we have herbs. Can I bring these back? Because I feel like I might have to look these Thanks, herbs Goggle. up. So, how do I find out what kind of plants these are? Um, by the book of herbology. Death blooms a most likely incomplete encyclopedia of dead and undead flora let's see if i can find my two planty friends in here Ooh. A magical identification key oh well that's what i call a coincidence okay so 
Okay, we've got white. Okay, what color is the flower? Or is that gray? Is it white or gray? I don't know. White, I'm thinking. It could be gray. No, it's definitely white. What shape is it? Jagged. What stem? It is straight. This is it. It looks exactly like the white plant I found. White Widow, also known as Hypno's Finest. Known for its narcotic effect, which is unfortunately so weak that it only kicks in when the subject is already very tired. Perfect. Oh. Okay. Alright, well we know what that one is. Okay, this is jagged, tubular, and black? No, it's gray. Maybe? It does not have any thorns. If it there isn't the black plant my little friend gave me, Acheron Swamp Trumpet. Famous for amplifying the subject's perception of music, and therefore often used at the river spirit's wild parties. Hmm. Okay, so I have a feeling this one is going to be the one that we're going to be using. Now what we do with that, I'm not sure yet. Because how do we give it to him? You know what I mean? Is there a way to like... I don't want to fill the empty box. Because I would think we would have to like crush it and do all that stuff, but maybe we don't. So let's go back through here. Let's see what we can find. Because he does have a pipe, right? So we can't mess with the radio because it won't let us. Because no, no. Do I have anything? I just have the plants on me. That's all I've got. Just plants. Is there a way... That's right. Oh yeah. Oh he's 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 jazzing with it. Oh yeah. He likes it. But how do we give him the the plant? That is my question. And I don't know how to... Actually, hold on. Let me look at this. Anything that I missed. I tried the record collection already. Tried the note. Okay. Let's try this again with the radio. Quick! Get out of there! Broke it. <laughs> Uh-oh. But he left his pipe. Get in there. Get in there. Come on. We got this. But don't overdose him. Put in just enough for one drag. Oh, no. He needs a couple. <laughs> run, Goggle. Run. All right, now we gotta go in there. I mean, it's on some pretty good music right now, right? Let him take a puff. Oh gosh, I feel it. Oh! Oh, he's grooving. <laughs> this is too much. Oh my God, I love it. Is he tired now? Oh, he's tired. That was unexpected. Oh, this is perfect, because we've got him tired now, so now we have to ruin the radio again. Get him to leave his little pipe. And then we have to do the white flower. Because it only works when he's tired. Okay, perfect. B. 
beautiful. He didn't even fix the radio. He's like, I'm too tired for this. Okay, there you go. Here, here, here we go. Sweet dreams. <laughs> oh, he's asleep. Go get it, Goggle. Beautiful. Finally, let's get out of here. All right. Oh, what are you doing? You can't. Uh, 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 what? Just great. Wait. Whoa, that feels weird. Um, you'll have to forgive him. He does that a lot. Curies, is that you? Do you have any other ants? So, it was from you. That is completely like the poor lines, bad the, mom. <laughs> Mixed with a little Did bit of Morticia Adams. Yet, my favorite niece is Sweet Sixteen. You do know I'm your only niece, right? You're the only one I remember, at least. But I'm not very good with these things. Oh my god. Okay, let's just so, talk about her eyeball for a second. Away. What happened? This is where you're going to tell me to stay, right? Actually, no. I mean, of course I can't let you run away. I've kind of gotten used to seeing your grumpy little face around here. But I understand it's been a rough time for you. And you didn't even have a chance to say goodbye to... Oh, me and names. What's his Kristen? name again? Tristan. <sighs> Tristan. Yes, Tristan. So I will grant you... A visit. A visit? Yes. Go and We're find probably gonna go friend. and terrify him. him I mean, we okay have a we have an eyeball happened. that's a spider or now. Tell him whatever version you think he'll be able to comprehend. Don't forget, you're not entirely human anymore. Mm -hmm. You might appear creepier to him than you think. Okay, uh, got it. And afterward, come back, come back to us and get to know your new home better. <sighs> I honestly don't know if I'll ever feel at home here. You'll never know for sure if you don't try, Casket Nail. And I promise. Casket Nail? <laughs> we're not all as grumpy as your old Oh my god. Okay, a visit. Just think of me as your dark fairy godmother, who's telling you to enjoy yourself at the Prince's Ball, but also to be back before the clock strikes 12. Or, in your case, before the effects of the herbs you gave your father wear off. But that's not the tricky part. What is the tricky part? You first need to find a way to open a portal to the land of the living. Can't you just tell me how? I'm afraid I can't. Only Thanatos knows how to travel between the worlds. Ugh, shoot. So, how can we figure it out? Thanatos always comes in here and just disappears. Well, since it happens in this room, that's the first clue, I guess. The answer is hidden somewhere in that stubborn, bony head of his. Wait, that's it? What? Your present, Prim. The eye. I totally forgot about it. <laughs> it can show you... things. What things? People's secrets. Or rather, their secrets in connection to objects around them. I like to call it spider vision it's hard to explain just try it out and you'll see okay Ooh. okay choose the spider eye and use it on a character oh this is cool now choose a scene object to reveal this character's secret like what <sighs> not the slightest trace of an interesting secret oh. here oh well, how do we know for sure? Will it do something? Or does he have to be awake? Whoa, this secret is strong. So strong that I think it wants to take shape. Ooh. 
<gasps> oh. Ooh, he's sniffing it. when a certain record is played. But which one? Hmm, that's a good question. Good question. Okay, this is a really cool aspect of this game. I'm 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 digging it a lot. So we know we have to get a record. Which record? I don't know. Let's see what we have here. <laughs> AC deceased dad in black it's a long way to chop my way to hell got in the dark oh I love this full frequency bone chicken sound after death the rolling bones paint it coffin black six feet under my thumb it's not easy being dead I like that one what is this one Joe what does that say Joe St Daijin? And the shrunken heads. Smell the beat. Oh, smell the beat? He was smelling it. The castle built from the brimis. Oh, this has got to be it. That's got to be it. 100%. It's got to be it. Also, can we read the sticky note? To do. Get a new needle. The current one is making the gateway increasingly unstable. Well, that was a hint in itself on how to how to do that okay i think we got what we need that has to be it he smelled the record which i thought was weird it's the greatest hits album of joe stygian stygian that's how you say it For a second, I was like, I don't know if that's the right one. Yes. Oh, I like it. This is giving me like. How does this work? I don't know. It's giving me like punk vibes. And think of your destination. The portal will do the rest. And don't forget. I know. I know. It's just a visit. Actually, I was going to say, don't forget to have fun. It's your birthday, after all. Carries? Yes, dear. Thank you. No problem. Now go before I change my mind. Aww, I like Home. her. Home. Home is where Tristan is. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, the kisses. Don't get sentimental. <sighs> Just leave me be, Clotho. Atropos offered to show her sisters what happened next. Wait! Not yet! First I want to know what happened to the boy after death took Prim away. After Tristan returned to the attic and found that Prim was gone, he raised the alarm, and the whole town started searching for the missing girl. The search went on for days. They left no stone unturned in the hope that Prim could be found at last. But eventually, finding not even a trace of her, they gave up. All of them? No. Tristan refused to give up hope. He kept on searching in the strangest places, together with his father. 